Our first exercise is from the Animal Flow Certification. It's called Beast with Limb Lifts. You can be on all fours with knees about an inch off the ground, and we're going to lift opposing limbs. Right leg, left hand, right hand, left foot. Our second activation is called our low trap dip. You can be in a crab position, pushing your shoulder blades down and back, and picking your butt about an inch or two off the ground. Our third activation is our floor slides. You're lying your back, pushing your lower back into the ground, and keeping your forearms and hands pressed against the floor as you slide up and come back down. This exercise is called lizard looks. You're going to lie on your stomach with your hands directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to slide one leg up towards the elbow. When the knee gets up towards the elbow, you're going to push your upper body off the ground and then look over that same side shoulder. Try and keep your hips as low as possible when doing this exercise to get a good hip stretch. This next exercise is called Frogger. You're going to spread your knees as wide as possible, put all your weight onto your elbows, and then you're going to push back into the hips, trying as low as possible, hold for about five seconds each time. Our next exercise is the wave unload. You're going to start off from the call loaded beast position, again from the animal flow certification. Drive your hips up as high as you can. Then you're going to roll the back, go through each vertebrae at a time, rolling all the way forward. When you come forward, you're going to look up towards the ceiling. When you come back, you're going to tuck your chin down, roll the body back, and then return back to that loaded beast position. So you're going from loaded beast, rolling, pushing hips forward, don't let the hips touch the ground, and returning to the start position. Next exercise is called your scorpion reach. You're going to start off in the loaded beast position again, bring the opposite leg to touch the opposite wrist, and then make a huge circle, bringing your hips all the way up towards the sky. So as you tap the wrist, big circle, point the toe to form your scorpion tail, circle back down, tap the wrist, and back to loaded beast. Our last exercise is called the crab reach. You're going to put the hand about six to eight inches away from the face, drive the hips up to a three-point bridge, and reach up and over looking down towards the base hand. So drive the hips up, looking down towards the base hand, holding that stretch for about five seconds, and then returning back to your crab position. Mm -hmm.